Thank you, Grant. Well, having built websites for 29 years, I've seen them change in function and importance. Other media or vehicles, shall we say, for businesses to connect with their customers have come along. Social media, Google ads, pay-per-click, blogs, the rise of email, even maps and video and YouTube. There's also traditional online methods or offline methods rather, like print and billboards, even yellow pages and direct mail. This has created a lot of confusion among businesses about what to do and what vehicles to use. We see lots of Me Too advertising and Me Too promotions. They'll get a website that's just like the competition. They go on Instagram because others in the industry are on Instagram. Sometimes we see this after we design websites. We design it, we build it, they come back and they say, make the logo bigger, change this photo, make this line bigger. There's confused, they're missing the big picture about what the real problem is in the marketing. And I don't think any of them woke up in the morning saying, today, be mediocre, I'm going to be just like everybody else. But that's what the marketing is saying. As Dan Kennedy says, most marketing and messaging is typically one big, broad, sloppy, and therefore uninteresting and ordinary message for all. It costs them money and lost opportunity. I remember when one client fired us, I was actually quite happy for him because he was using us to do his website, another company to do his social media, a third company to do his email marketing, a fourth to do his Google ads, and a fifth to do his video. And he wasn't bringing us together. So there was no strategy. There was no consistent message. It was a complete waste of time and his resources and his money. And I've got way too many horror stories like that. I didn't know exactly what the problem was or how to stop all this confusion. So I started searching and studying and I became a duct tape marketing consultant because of their approach to developing the whole strategy. This was developed by John Jantz. I'm heavily invested in magnetic marketing, which was founded by Dan Kennedy. Those of you at the game yesterday would have seen my Dan Kennedy shirt. I've met them both personally. They've educated me on the problems and the solutions, and I've been proving getting better at marketing, but I need a way to do this outside of Radar Hill web design. Today, I'm announcing that I'm leaving Radar Hill after 23 years, and I'm launching Agency 2525. I'm also switching my BNI classification from web design to marketing consultant, hence the blank slide today. So think of me more as a fractional chief marketing officer. What does this mean? Companies often DIY their marketing. They do it themselves. They do it piecemeal. They may tag somebody in the company to do their marketing, whatever that means for them, or they hire a kid. Kids good on Instagram, the kid can represent the company and they hope it works. Well, hope is not a strategy or they're terrified. What if the person they've hired or they've tagged this, this on does a horrible job and sometimes they just give up. A fractional CMO is more like a part-time and I'm not saying I'm cheap, I'm not, but really from what I see from all the wasteful marketing that businesses are doing, they might as well just take $100 bills and burn them. Well, since our money doesn't really burn, take the $100 bills and melt them. Fractional CMO comes in at a fraction of the cost and they may work with five to 10 companies to become part of the executive team, part of the decision makers, help them cut through all the confusion to help solve their marketing problems. I also deliver hands-on solution, not just theory because a lot of consultants are just providing the theory but the actual plan of what they should do and the implementation. I have the resources and the connections to identify and solve the problems. I like to work with passionate business owners in what I call the infrastructure industries, the people who design stuff, build stuff, make stuff, and fix stuff. So that can be architects, 
designers, decorators, property developers, tradespeople, home services people, renovators, and so on. And the reason I like this group is that part of the process I've been using for quite a while to develop this, the strategy process, I've interviewed a lot of people in these industries. And what I've learned from them is that they're passionate about what they do, what they create, or they build, or how they help the people around them, or what they provide. They're truly trying to make this world or their part of the world a better place. Those are the types of people I want to work with. I'm inspired by a BNI member in Poland, Ryszard Szymura, and I'll put a 30-minute YouTube video into the chat later. And I was in the audience when he recorded that video at the BNI International Convention in 2019. He started in BNI as a web designer, and they, he grew his chapter until it effectively became an agency. And you can see all the different, there's some of the different aspects. He grew from, I think it was a 12-person chapter up to an 80-person chapter. And what can we do here in world class? This is sort of the, let's call it the company structure idea, where you can see, of course, on the, the fractional CMO, the obvious parts of the go into overall marketing, website, social media, email, Google ads, direct response, branding. Also the, the tertiary or the spin-off, people who do finance, HR, motivation, sales training, insurance. This in no way is a complete list, but this is just to illustrate. And here are some of the people either in this chapter or other chapters or people I've connected with that can fill some of those roles. So how you can help me and help chapter is to find people and really flesh this out. So for example, in this chapter, we've got Rob who does Google ads, Linda who does photography and video. And on the, the tertiary or the ones that come as a result of the role that I'm in, we have Jeffrey who can handle people's finances, Antonia who does the executive co coaching, which ultimately is motivation, Aaron who does insurance. I'd love to get an HR and a sales trainer in, and there'll be so much more that will come along. And so helping me to well, the chapter helps all of us because I'm sure all of you can see the natural referral that can come from this. You can help me to fill that. That will help all of us and that will help the chapter.